Hello world of YouTube, my name is Rubin RX, and today we are playing some more of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Last time we we took on the, uh, let me walk outside. We took on the Desert Palace. That's why it didn't show where I wanted to. We took on the Desert Palace. We got the Power Glove. <clears throat> and the Pendant of Blueness. I said that last part, and now I don't actually know what it's called. So... See, there's... I think that's Wisdom. I think the blue one's the Pendant of Wisdom. This time... We are going to side quest a bit. As you see, I started from the sanctuary this time. First off, at the graveyard here. See these black rocks we still can't pick up. But we are going to go into this grave. If I can pick up the rock. And fall down a hole. And in here, we end up back at the... Castle Sewers, and we are going to bomb the wall. I'll be right back. Okay, back at the hole. Now we are going to use some bombs and bomb this. And inside, there are going to be some things, including a heart. And some chests, let's see. Ten arrows, bombs, and 300 rupees, which maxes out our cap. I know I wasted a few rupees, but I wanted to get that out of the way while I was over here as opposed to after what we are doing next. So now, I'm going to meet you over by Syrup Maple the Syrup's house? No, Syrup the Witch's house. Okay, so over here by Syrup the Maple's house. Oh my god, Syrup the Witch's house. We are going to go this... Waterfall of Wishing. We are going to lift the big rock. <clears throat> and now we can go forward. I was going to do this before the last dungeon. I decided not to, and it's a good thing I didn't, because I couldn't have gotten through. <coughs> now we have to bang through that rock, get past all these buzz blobs, and we end up in Zora's domain. We are at Zora's domain, up here. It's not even on the map. Get magically teleported. are going to walk through, avoid all the Zoras, and get to the end, which is going to be a hard task, especially if you go the wrong way, like me. Whoops. Stop. Ah, there is a pathway up. Did not see you. These diagonal pathways are actually kind of awkward. Because you can't swing diagonally, but you can move diagonally. And it's just kind of awkward, especially when that Zora got on the path like it did. So somewhere around here, there will be a reward for us. Um, I went the wrong way. So we have to go back. It's kind of a maze, but there's not too many pathways. Okay, we are almost there. Up here! Ooh, rumbly rumbly! Ah, uh, ha uh, ha ha! What do you want, little man? Do you have something to ask me? 
I want the flippers. Wahaha, ha, ha, but don't just get flipped by the way for free. I'll sell them for 500 rupees. Apa. What do you think? So you give him 500 rupees and you get the flippers and the ability to use the Zora waterways. Which I will show off in a second. But first, so swipper, swippers, you can dive with... You can't dive, you swim with A though. And over here, this way, there is a piece of heart, right there. And now we just want to swim down uh, and exit Zora's River this way. The Zora's still hate us. It's not like they're friendly now that we have their flippers. And we are going to swim into this waterfall. So we are going to throw in our boomerang first. Hello there, did you drop this? Yes, I like an honest person. I will give you something better in return. We got a magical boomerang. It throws faster than the last one. I think it might be able to cut grass. That might be a lie though. And then if we go back in, there's one more. Well, actually there's two things, but I'm not going to be able to do one of them. So now we will throw in another item. Our shield. And the f wish fairy. You are an honest person. I will give you something better in return. Your shield has improved. Now you can defend yourself against fireballs. But not really. You can also throw a bottle in there to get a magical potion. Which I think heals all your magic. But we don't have the empty bottle right now and this is a Zora waterway if you swim into it as it looks like what Zora's come from but it's always there swim into it you get transported and here is one of the biggest side quests of the game welcome to the waterfall of wishing so we are going to throw in 20 rupees until we get to a hundred Just go out and back in. You don't even have to completely leave. So when you throw in 100 rupees, you unlock. You don't unlock. Um, okay, let me actually throw in 100 and not just 80. There we go, and we get the lovely fairy who will help us carry more items. She gives us five more bomb capacity, and actually gets us five bombs. Now when we go up to her, we can throw in increments of 25 or 50. So now when we enter another 100, we can get, she will return, and we will be able to obtain five more arrows. So I will continue to do this until I have 20 and 40 arrows. I'm not 100% sure what the cap is. I think, I want to say 30 bombs and 50 arrows, but that might be completely wrong, so don't quote me on that. So this is why I wanted to go get that rupees those rupees from the graveyard is because I knew the Zora flippers were expensive and I wanted to get as much of this as I can so now we are going to swim over here oh just so you know this is where we are we're in the Lake Hylia region so we went from the top right to the bottom left using the Zora waterway so we are going to swim this way maybe okay there we go
And you swim under the bridge here, and there's a man sleeping under the bridge. Yo, Robin, you seem to be in a heap of trouble, but this is all I can give you. And he gives us an empty bottle. You can store stuff inside later. Um, this man makes me think of when I was younger and there was this guy, there was this bridge on the way to where my dad lived that we would always cross when going to my dad's house. And there was a man who would live under that bridge and I always thought it was the funniest thing, but now growing up I know thinking back to it, how sad it actually was, especially after just doing a large research paper on homelessness. It's just very sad. Okay, um, now we, I will meet you back at the sanctuary. So here we are back at the sanctuary, and if you look at the, the map, we need to go up there, across Death Mountain. Now, as I said before, when we went to the Desert of Mystery, we had to go that way because there was uh, something blocking us from uh, entering this dungeon. Which is... or the, not this dungeon, but this area. Danger! Do not enter Death Mountain without the- Well, uh, we're kind of criminals from the government, so I'm sure we won't have the king's permission. We needed to lift that rock to get into the cave. And then you hop down. Now you want to look around for an old man. I'm not 100% sure where he is, but I know he is in here. Uh huh. I don't know who you are, but if you are going to the mountain, will you take me with you? I lost my lamp, so. I think this is just the required pathway, so. He's not. Watch your step, there are holes in the crown. Could you turn right here? Young man, are you going to the mountain to look for the golden power? Just ahead is a mountain full of monsters. Many people have vanished in this mountain while looking for the golden power. I don't want to steer you wrong, so please, don't get too involved on such a mad quest. Um, so now we need to help him across. Uh, turn right here. You know, I have a granddaughter who was your age. The king took her to the castle and she never returned. Kidnapping those Megans must be part of the wizard's plot. I'm sure he is trying to somehow use the power of the descendants of the wise man. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is the exit, and now we are on Death Mountain. These are weird rock enemies. You hit them, and they turn into a rock. And they're an obstacle. This is his house. The missing Megans are still alive somewhere. I believe that a hero will rescue them. I wait for that day. Uh, these are dangerous times. I talk too much. Anyway, thank you for your kindness to an old man like me. Uh, I wanted to give you this! If you wander into a magical transport, gaze into this mirror. We got the magic mirror. The mirror is blue, clear, and beautiful. You feel like you're going to be absorbed into another world. This is a new save start point if you save your game and exit. This is a new place you can enter from. And if we talk to him, to complete your quest, you need the moon pearl, which is on the tower at the top of the mountain. All I can do is comfort your weariness. He will always heal you. Now I don't know where this goes. I love the magical boomerang. I really love the boomerang. Have I said that I love the boomerang? I have really learned to appreciate it in whenever I come back to playing a 2D Zelda game. Because it's just, it's so much easier to hit enemies, oh dear, when you have them stunned. There will be another item later that will be very similar to it that I will also enjoy. Why did I not take damage from that keys? Okay. Somewhere along. That cave was pointless. I'm pretty sure that lagger just takes us back to the old man. Uh, 
this is really an annoying area because of the falling rocks. They are completely random. They can easily hit you. This cave leads to the path back to Kakariko Village. Okay. That's nice to know. Up here, though, there is something I want to grab right here. In this cave here, we will obtain... Okay, I thought it was a lot closer than it actually is. A piece of heart. Ruben, it's his eye. Sarah, 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 Sarah. You must somehow make your way to the top of Spectacle Rock. From there, you can reach the Tower of Hera on top of Death Mountain. If we fall back down here, we end up on this path. And next to a fairy's fountain. Oh, wait, I do have an empty bottle. I died last time. Oh, wow, I'm stupid. Okay. Well, then I will keep chewing a bottle and then take the other one for myself. Well, if you're selling Empty Boggle to the Fairy of Chengara Ch Chengarasagi? Cheng These are Mingy Moldorms. You think having something so small, you think being Mingy, there might be a big version. We'll never know. Because that totally makes sense. <clears throat> wow, they do a lot of damage. Then we hop down here and continue my way back up the mountain. I am stuck, I can't stop running. Okay. So now we are going to go this way and see there's a piece of heart up there. Now here we are. This is the blue portal that will take us to another world. Welcome to the dark world. So that magic mirror that we were given will take us back to the real world. And we want to use it here on top of this rock in order to collect a piece of heart on the other side. And now this will take us immediately back to the dark world if we want it. I don't think we want to. I think we want to hop down up here. And next time, in The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, we will see what is inside this large object. See you guys then.